What is up console superstars and how are you all doing today? I'm hoping you guys are all having, if not going to have a fine day and night. We are continuing our Derek Jeter road to the show series and today we are facing the New York Mets who have Mark Trumbo playing right field and they are already up on us. One zip, one two count, one out, 12 pitches so far by our starting pitcher in the top of the first. Ground ball hits a Derek Jeter, played very easily. He just flips it over and we get the double play without a problem. As you guys can see, that was Yoni Cespedes sliding into second base. So they got power from their number three hitter, from their number four hitter. They got Brian McCann on their team, who is also a power hitter, a power hitting catcher to be exact. And now there is a runner on first base. The pitch comes and it's hit towards Paul Goldschmidt. He unfortunately is, is unable to actually make the grab. And they have runners on first and second. So the Mets are threatening now to put some more runs on the board, but they don't get to do that as we are heading now to the bottom of the second. 1-0 is the game. Derek Jeter is standing in now. Can't really tell if that's Noah Syndergaard or DeGrom, but a hard hit ball up the middle, but the shortstop for the New York Mets is actually putting in work as he is able to just gun, a, gun us out right there. I'm pretty sure that is as Drupal Cabrera, but I can't be too sure on that. Now the score is 1-1, Mark Trumbo is hitting again, 1-2 count, runner on first base, looking to make the double play is what we're doing right here. We get the ball relatively slowly, and it looks like Yoni Cespedes is running again, the second baseman takes a hard hit from a hard dive by Yoni Cespedes, but he is able to make the out regardless. So we are now heading into the bottom of the fourth, where there are two outs already, 31 pitches so far by the New York Mets pitcher. The pitch comes, and it's a high fastball that we are just... A little bit late on we were able to foul tip it actually so now we have an 0-1 count against us next pitch comes from Noah Syndergaard and it's a four seam fastball a little bit too inside I want to say that's Noah Syndergaard there's no way that can be DeGrom in my opinion DeGrom has brown hair so yes we are going with Noah Syndergaard we get a fastball right down the middle and we weren't expecting a fastball therefore we swung a little bit late on it probably could have been able to take that deep the other way but unfortunately once again we swung a little bit late don't really know why it's showing a little bit of lag spikes maybe because the Elgato was having some sort of problem at this time where it was losing frames per second I don't really know why it would be losing frames per second in general but I do know that it was occurring that it was dropping from 60 frames to 50 to 48 don't really know what the problem is so I will definitely have to look into that as you guys can see right there it was lagging and that that certain moment as well which made it a little bit difficult to actually throw the ball well actually not in the actual gameplay but as you guys can see in the video it made it a little bit difficult or made it look a little bit more extreme no Syndergaard comes with the pitch and he throws us a curveball to open up this at bat which we swing at very horribly we were way too early and it just made Derek Jeter look ugly in my opinion and a hitter that's hitting over 350 generally does not look too ugly when he swings the bat and we hit the ball the opposite way but it's a fly ball that Mark Trumbo gets without a problem and we get to see Paul Goldschmidt who was at first base right there But it doesn't matter because we take the W anyways and head on to game number two Where we are now facing the Giants Hunter Pence is up for the Giants They are playing at our home turf one two count one out runner on first base looking to make the double play right here without a problem the pitch comes it's an easy ground ball we throw it instantly to our man Langley at second base and we turn the double play without a problem and pitching for the Giants is Mackey hey at least I got to see who was actually pitching for the Giants Derek Jeter's average so far is 388 so that is an enormous average especially heading into the second month of the season we get an off-speed pitch that we drive pretty deep but Hunter Pence is able to run it down and actually make the grab I actually thought that would have been a dinger it looked off the bat like it was gonna go very deep we are now up four to one in the bottom of the third with two outs the pitch comes to Derek Jeter and it's an outside changeup and hold up guys did you guys just see that I believe that was actually Dave Roberts the basically the manager for the Dodgers actually managing the Giants so it's not Bruce Bochy anymore for the Giants it looks like it's Roberts which is pretty weird in my opinion unless he's like an assistant manager or something along those lines but what is he doing with the Giants he was just with the Dodgers is he some sort of traitor the world may never know as Paul Goldschmidt I believe was hitting 
and he strikes out and Mackey got away from potentially allowing some more runs Buster Posey is now hitting for the Giants most likely going to ground into a double play with an 0-1 count one of my favorite players overall probably my favorite catcher of all time so far and that was a play that we could have made a diving grab on but I decided not to and because the center fielder decided to take his sweet time to actually throw the ball in the runner was able to move up to third base but it didn't look like it had an impact at all on the scoreboard as we are still up leading over them one or four to one not one to four because then that would mean we were losing actually we're looking to make the double play right here actually the third out of the inning so we flip it over to Langley without a problem and he's able to actually make the grab and now hitting for the Giants is their pitcher Willie Mackey so let's see if Willie Mackey has some pop in him the pitch comes to him and he hits a ground ball relatively hard but not too hard right at Derek Jeter and Derek Jeter makes the play without a problem he throws the ball a little bit high we got poor reaction apparently but I thought that it was just perfect we were just gonna wait on it it was a hard hit ground ball Derek Jeter was definitely just waiting on it probably should have charged it a little bit more but hey we can't complain the ball is hit Derek Jeter grabs it and Ramirez is right in front of me but it doesn't matter because even though it alters our throw a little bit we got Paul Goldschmidt playing first base who is the scoop master at least for this team and now we are up five to one bottom of the fifth two outs 75 pitches so far by Mackey so he's still in this game and we get an off-speed pitch that we hit way too early and end up following it off or fouling it off down the left field line and next pitch comes from Mackey and we just get a little bit too under it and we hit a pop up to the center fielder or a fly out to the center fielder and I believe that's Denard's fan he's there to make the final grab of the inning and we are heading into the top of the sixth where Hunter Pence is hitting with a runner on first base. 63 pitches so far by our pitcher. So he's definitely doing a good job in terms of managing his pitches. And this one is actually a pop-up that Ramirez is actually going to get. I know that I can probably call him off or go take him myself. But why would I risk me getting an error when we're going for gold glove? It just doesn't make no sense. Now hitting his Buster Posey, he's 2 for 2 with a single, but it looks like this time I can't allow him to get a hit as I will have to dive or do whatever I need to do to actually prevent the hit from happening. Hits the ball relatively soft to us and we throw it over to Langley who makes the out without a problem and we are out of this inning. Heading now to the top of the 7th, 1-2 count, didn't really get a chance to see who was actually hitting for the Giants but they have managed to score one run as now as it is now a 2-5 game and the pitcher gets hit with the ground ball but I'm pretty sure he's gonna be fine that ball wasn't even hit that hard as you guys could see and now the Giants are actually coming back as it is a 4-6 ball game so apparently I want to say after the ball hit the pitcher that must have thrown him out of his groove just a little bit and he started allowing some runs we get a slider here that we foul tip off the home plate and now it's an 0-1 count. We have a runner on second base. So we definitely have a runner in scoring position. And we have a chance to drive him in right here. We get the pitch. And it's a slider that we foul off again. And it's the bottom of the seventh. We're not going to have another chance to at-bat most likely. As the team would have to get around three hits for us to get another at-bat. And it's a forcing fastball a little bit too high. So since this is the last at bat if you guys want to see more i'm gonna be the show 16 and Derek cheater make sure you guys hit the thumbs up button and subscribe and as always guys have a great day and night stay positive keep on grinding keep on smiling and unfortunately we ended up striking out with Derek cheater